there's a lot of there's a lot more things involved with school like college search, homework, getting ready for transitioning to college, all those things. And that was come straight from school, as opposed to like I don't go into the grocery store, it's not like someone's gonna ask me an application question. I'm not gonna have to write an essay to buy my bread. I read, and I go on hikes, and I play a lot of video games, and um, I hang out with my friends. We would go to, it's, it's now called the Park Diner. Years and years ago it was still the Park Diner. And you would go down after school to maybe have french fries, so, coffee, so whatever. And then there was also another drugstore that had the... Uh, what you call it, you would call it the, um, the counter. I watch TV and I read and I just kind of, I go for runs and stuff. I'm a teenager. I do a That's lot a of active sports, exercise, uh, acting, uh, tend to try to go to a movie, just hang out, you know, talk, chit chat, play some pool. We always used to go down to Smith's Park to the diner. That's where everybody's hangout was after school. They, uh, you could hot fudge Sundays or coffee or whatever. And had jukeboxes in there where you could three songs for a quarter. So the place was really rocking after after school. Um, the owners probably didn't get that excited about it, but after, after all, it was a lot of it brought a lot of business into their business, so they put up with us. to wear skirts. We couldn't wear pants. I like the clothes today. They're comfortable. Girls don't have to wear skirts uh, all the time, so that's nice. And there were no revealing tops like there are nowadays. <laughs> Nothing. No, no pants with holes in them. You know, there was some, I don't, I don't ever remember anyone speaking of a dress code. You, you just knew that that was just something you just didn't wear to school. You got home, you changed your clothes, and uh, you hung around or worked in your, your play clothes or your work clothes. You didn't wear your school clothes. You wore them to school. Personal style. Raffy class. I mean, I like, I like to wear suits. I don't, I don't always wear suits. I mean, I like, I like clothing that's... Not necessarily got a bunch of logos all over it. Still looks nice, you know. People like to dress comfortable. I think is a big thing for like high school and college students. You don't have a lot of time in the morning, so you just put on jeans. I can't stop loving you. I've made up my mind. The first date that I went with him was to see the movie Exodus in Burlington. And we had to go to Burlington. He, he asked me on a date, where do you want to go? I said, well, I'd like to go see the movie Exodus. And, well, where is that? <laughs> I said, it's in, it's in Burlington at the Flynn Theater. So that's what we did. That's where we went on our first date. Is that the guy you married? Yeah. It's going to be 50 years next wow. September. Wow, that's, that's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really seem that long, though. I mean, we've had a lot of different experiences, but it just doesn't really seem that long. <laughs> so how long have you been with Eleanor? Two years, a little over two years. Okay. Are you guys planning on staying together out of high school? We haven't. We intend to, I guess. I haven't really talked about it terribly much. Are you guys looking at colleges near each other? No, she's going to France. It's gonna be a. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's gonna be hard to maintain a long distance relationship? I think it will be a bit of a challenge. Do you plan on getting married? Uh, I'm not gonna answer that because <laughs> I'm course. 17. Um, but so you're not thinking about marriage at this no, time? No. That would be the proper answer, yes. I'm not <laughs> thinking about it or considering it because I'm not a creeper.
I love technology. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine life without it, I guess. Um, like, I live on my cell phone, so it's kind of bad, but I mean, I can see where technology is kind of like taking over people's lives, so it's kind of bad, but for the most part, it's good, so. My uh, most technologically advanced um, piece of equipment was a selector typewriter, and that was brand new at the time. So, cell phones, email, fax, all those things are totally different today than they were. Um, if you needed to get a phone call from home, you had to go to the office, because that's the only phone in the, in the it, that was available in the high school. I can message somebody on Facebook, or I can text them, or I can call them at their house or on their cell phone, or I can call them on Skype. Like There are you know, like a half dozen different ways that I can get in touch with my friends. And if a plan changes, it can be you know, instant, like I just get a text message, and it's like, hey, we're going here, or it's at you know, 8 instead of 6. Um, but I imagine 50 years ago, you know, we would have had to make plans and then be pretty set with what those plans are. Other than that, I mean... Uh, it's useful. I think there's a lot of it. Um, there's a lot of risks with fast developing technology, I believe, but it's definitely useful. Yeah, it makes life easier, like people can communicate a lot easier, which is like obviously there are pros and cons to that. Um, pros being convenience, cons being like cyberbullying and that kind of thing. Um, also we like watch a lot, of, a lot of TV way more than they used to. We spend more time on computers, on social networking sites. The reliance on technology is a, is a concern. I would say bullying and like cliques, obviously like having cliques in high school is pretty much inevitable, but that doesn't like make it any less of a problem. I feel like so many like things we do and how the school functions is kind of based on like the social hierarchy, if you will. Um, and I don't know if there's like necessarily a solution to that, um, but I think having people like grouped and stereotyped is a problem for most schools, if not all. We used to have air raid warnings. I can remember, you know, every now and then you could hear the air raid siren go off and you had to get under your desk. Well, and that was kind of scary because it came out in your dreams because you would dream about those things happening. And that was really the scariest thing for me. Girls who were pregnant were dropped out of school. They were not allowed to um, attend classes if they are obviously pregnant. So we lost classmates to the unfortunate event of being pregnant. Uh, we also lost boys because they were they drank and drive. We had six deaths in our senior year. I have to say, I mean, there's definitely a lot of there's a lot of problem with hazing, bullying, things like that uh, with our generation. I'd have to say probably a lot of that comes from. The media, I'd say they def they make these definitions of the way normal, and people see that over and over again. And when someone starts to classify people as not that, that's when they start to get ostracized and kind of moved away from. And so I think it's a lot of the media's fault on creating these images of normal that aren't really helping our people our age get so long with others. If, you know, it is the best years of your life, so you gotta take advantage of it. This is the best years of your life. I just I know that you don't think that it is right now, that it's a lot of hard work and a lot of things that kind of bother you, but when you stop and think back on it, you're going to realize that when you were in high school, it was going to, should be anyway, most people's are kind of the happiest times of your life. I think that's total bullshit. <laughs> um, no, anybody who, I, I, not to say that, you know, high school is a miserable period of your life because it isn't. I've really enjoyed being a teenager, but I'm looking forward more to being an adult because I know I'll be able to do more and... Um, have the experience to, you know, do it 
safely or proficiently, you know, like whatever it is that I want to do. Um, so no, I don't. I don't think that high school are the best years, years of your lives. They can be really great years, but not the best. Well, I would hope that I have other good years in my life. Um, I think they're they're fun. I mean, college. I mean, it's gonna be a lot harder work, but I believe that college will be a good experience as well. So, I agree and disagree. With it's a good time, but I wouldn't say it's the best time. I want my entire life to be one hell of a ride. Back, back, in, in time. Miami equals black mass, black gloves with